man we've been in a deep freeze for weeks like i'm going through a lot of wood and i just went up and caught a, a, a small load of um, real dry wood just enough to get me through uh, two or three more days uh, i do have a reserve of wood there but you gotta have a comfortable stock and uh, i need some wood so uh the crew are coming down tomorrow morning and we're going to head off and have a good day in the woods it's going to be exciting I got some brand new gear that uh, you just caught a glimpse of then and I'm going to show you guys that stuff I'm sure we'll have a few laughs and a good day in the outdoors so stick around it's going to be fun <laughs> Freezing cold morning guys, it's showing about uh, minus 27, minus 28 degrees Celsius to minus 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Every day has been like that for a full month now, if not more. Let's see if this could do goes. Which I'm sure it will. Now, it was actually minus 36 degrees Celsius last night, so I'm sure the engine still is about that temperature because there's no sun at all here yet. Edition super wide track 900 ace made by Skidoo. Well, you're not slick looking. I told you guys there was a new Skidoo in the mix, and as unfortunate as not mine, it's <laughs> Andrew's. And uh, I am in love with this machine. Of course, mine is there, and I absolutely love you know, guys, how much I love mine. Well, this here is just topping the cake. Look at all of this gear here, look, everything is just custom fit. This big link cargo box. Open it up, Andrew, have a look at Oh, at that. holy cow. Can you get in there, wouldn't you? <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. That's a lot of space, it's so light and compact. You got to fit it out with a cargo rack here in the back. Ridiculously cool. Top it off now, guys. He got one of these German GPS map 276 CX uh, GPS. Is just look at that, it's like three times the size one. It's like a small television. Anyway, guys, big shout out to PWR Sports in Labrador City for uh, where Andrew got this skidoo. Guys, uh, they're at the shop, are the very, very best, and uh. They'll give you a good deal on the machine, and just look what you'll end up with. Spectacular. And look what else he got here. He got one of these new uh, 509 uh, Delta R4 uh, Ignite 
helmets with an electric shield on the front. Uh, comes with a sunglass shield option as well. Powered up here and the light comes on when you power it up. You got vents in the front and on the top. But on a day like today, it, uh, it'll keep you warm. Because you know, this will stop all wind from coming in. It's designed underneath, you can, uh, you can put a, um, a neck warmer that incorporates right into this helmet. It's a modular helmet as well, so you can just look out from here or if you're eating a drink or something, it helps out there. It's a beautiful looking helmet. And it came from Herbs Industrial in Wabush. Um, they're, in, they're situated in the Wabush Industrial Park. And Colin Vardy and the crew over at Herbs Industrial are really good to us too. People are good to us. And uh, we got this helmet and it just matches Andrew's skidoo perfectly. And guess what? I got one too. Just like it. Now the only thing is, if I got a helmet like that, hmm, I might have to get a matching skidoo. We'll see. Got to keep up with this guy. We're getting ready to hit the trail here. We got the full crew with us me today. Melanie's coming and we got to pick up rail. Uh, up the trail a little further. Got another cabin. But uh, I'm going to wear these gloves today when I'm cutting wood. A little tip when you're out in the cold. Always keep another pair of gloves inside of your snow pants like that. I used to do this when the kids were small and now I do it for myself. You keep those gloves in there and they become instantly warm. It's like free heat. So when you put your other gloves on, your hands get cold, put your other gloves in there and then take the other ones out. Good to go. I forgot to mention, I also got the coolest latching system. Magnet, can't pull it. Pull it off, you're good to go. Ready to go? That is Melanie on the road I care about. A.K.A. Rail. You haven't seen her in a film in a while because she's in Dalhousie University studying dental hygiene and she's just home for a little while and we're graced with her presence a little bit longer because of COVID. Pretty girl. All right, time to switch over to wood cutting gear. So I think it's still minus 26 or 27 below. But this is where these nice, uh, putting those gloves in there, this is where it counts right here now. Take them out there now, like my wood cutting gloves. Oh, nice and toasty warm. Put the other ones right back in there. Once I've warmed up a little bit, I'm gonna down dress from this big coat too, but right now, it ain't that warm yet. Both I got them on right. Andrew got my old snowshoes. So I got some new ones. They're the same as my old snowshoes, but brand new. And not very often I buy something twice in a row. So it got to be good if I do that. And these here, Woods brand, are awesome. And they only get the same, same ones too. Anyway, I got a new chainsaw. Andrew gets to use my uh, still MS-170 that I've had for many, many years. 20 years I've been using that saw. It's a 30cc. And over this new one is a Husqvarna 445. So you got 50 cc's as opposed to 30 cc's. So a lot of power. The power. <laughs> Just look at this beauty. Look at that. <laughs> I haven't used it very much today. It's going to be a good test for it. So our plans on filling that sled, like filling the sled. I just put the bit in there, topping her up. This one got a primer system built in. Now I'm going to choke.
No, we don't, we don't, we don't. No, we don't. Well, the new saw is working great and the job is getting done. Let's take a moment and recognize those who watch the channel and send in their pictures. Thanks, guys. All right, we're not quite finished. Andrew got his sled full. We got a bunch more trees. I should have enough to fill up this sled once, but it's getting cold. Our girls are a lot colder because they're not working as hard as we are. So it's time to get the grub out. And watch out, boy. We got the gear for it today. A bit fancy with our cook up today. You guys have seen me use this stove in my tent. Well, we're just going to use the, the stove box and this grill today to make up our lunch. I got no birch bark today, so every now and then I'll use this fire paste. Bit of a quick fire starter. Smear a bit down here. Trees to start off, make sure it's all burnt off before you start cooking is the only thing. I know, I there you go, there's a little bit of help in there. Anybody here hungry? Starved. Yep. We got the delicious grub coming up here now. You guys never even tried this before. Willow's laying in the sun on top of that downfield jacket. She is getting sleepy. Until the food comes out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I should have warmed from that already, guys. Uh, we're burnt, we're cutting uh, this this here is an old forest fire site. In case you're wondering why the trees are so black, it burnt back in 2013, so it's all dead standing. And it's so dry, it's right ready for the stove immediately. So it's the best of the best of the best. Oh. While well, the trees are burning down there. To make up my main dish. My old buddy Dustin gave me that one. Why? Thanks again, Dustin. Too nice to mess that up, so I'll turn it over. Now, these are actually uh, these white uh, willow ptarmigan, and we hunted some of those, of course, this winter several times. And uh, I got the, the meat cut off now in strips like that. So I've never tried this before. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to make a hot dog, but it's going to be using this stuff here instead of a traditional wiener. I'm going to dress mine up a little bit fancier than the others. So I'll take this ptarmigan, wrap it all up, almost like an alouette. That's one. Two. Now for mine, I'm gonna use this uh, jalapeno, it's called yogurt dip. It's like cream cheese, but I got a bit of a zest to it, of course. I'm gonna put some of that in with mine. So we're not gonna be shy on this. We're gonna take a nice bit of that, and slap that right on there, take that bacon and jalapeno sauce, and wrap it up. Oh, oh. 
You want a two Melanie? Mm -hmm. Okay. Two jalapeno ptarmigan whistle dogs, I guess you'd call it, would you? I don't know. I'm just making it up as I go here. There we go. We'll toast a couple of hot dog buns with that now. Oh boy. <laughs> We're just waiting for our fire to go down now. I think you're skidoo, Andrew. Like oh, her so yeah, far? I love it. How many kilometers you got her so far? Almost 800. Almost 800? Oh, she's a slick looking machine, I must say. She just makes them better all the time, eh? She's got that cool factor times two. So, guys, if you're ever in Lab City area, uh, stop in and see Dale Feltham, PWR Sports. You guarantee to want yourself in one of these machines. And you want to want to buy it. Great skidoo. Jalapeno ones there. Just the regular ones there. Now I think we'll throw on the rest of that term again. Just we'll cook the bacon too. Throw it all on. Oh my. Look who seems to have uh, gotten a little closer here. I'll give you a little piece of uh, bacon there. She seems nice and toasty with her. Uh, Hold on. And kind of a dual purpose. This kind of serves a bigger purpose in that it covers up this big butt. And you guys, here's this. Too hot? There <laughs> <laughs> you go. That's her me in love. Oh my. That is so tasty. Look. Good frozen hot dog buns. Oh, let's warm them up. Now, part of the course here would be me burning these. I tend to do that sometimes. There we go. A piece of that in there, put a piece of ptarmigan in there. Oh, a little bit of ketchup. You want mustard on yours, sis? Yep. There you go. Termigan. Uh, wrapped in bacon. Otherwise, this is about outdoors as you can get it. There oh, you go, sis. The first one. You get the first one. Uh oh. There you go. Oh, I dig it. <laughs> Andrew's just a ketchup guy. There you go, buddy. Yep. Here you go, Molly. Thank you. Bon appetit, guys. You go to a. You guys don't kind of react to food the same way I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that is good, though. Eh? Wow! The jalapeno uh, cream cheese puts a good zip to it, eh? Yummy, she says. Our kettle is boiled right on cue. Time for a cappuccino. Nice and warm, guys, on a cold day. Wonderful. Well, guys, we made the best of it on a really cold day. We had uh, got a nice bit of wood there to burn for the next uh, little while. We had our meal and a cup of tea. Thanks once again to Herbs Industrial and PWR Sports for helping us out getting some of this beautiful gear. It's going to make our lives nice and easy from here on in. And thank all you guys for watching. And until the next video, take care of each other. Get outside and enjoy, enjoy everything, everything outdoors. outdoors. <laughs> Guaranteed. <laughs> we'll see you, we'll see you next time. time. Guaranteed. <laughs> this is the brand new 509 R4. What is it? Got, she got the code, but I got the... <laughs> <laughs> but no one knows what that is. <laughs> uh, thank you. Thanks again. Let me see. No. The look. smoke's in the way. Look, sorry. Oh, look, 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 look. There we go. Ready to rock and roll, guys? Ah. <laughs> Hang on now. Ready? <laughs> All right. Ready to go, guys? Ah. <laughs> okay, can we have a cup of tea now? It's yeah, so yeah. cold. Was it right going? What a bunch of clowns. <laughs> Thanks again to all of you who joined us today. I sincerely hope it was a positive experience for you, just like it was for us. You know, you often hear people say, 
there's nothing like a day out in the woods. Well, guess what? They're actually right. There's just something magical about a ride on snowmobile. Strapping on the snowshoes, hearing that snow scrunch beneath your feet, and of course the exercise that makes you so hungry for that outdoor cook-up. And then enjoying that smoky flavor of whatever is on the menu. Of course, the time spent with others and the laughter. Well, that just makes everything right in the world. Like and subscribe to catch us on the next video. Leave us a comment and make your own outdoor memories until we meet again.